Good morning, March 24th. Uh, a lovely, what, Sunday morning? Yeah, Sunday morning. Uh, we're here again to give you the genealogical memory to the events as observed by the various imperial, royal, noble, and aristocratic families around the world. Also, to give you today's daily search parameter. For those of you who are new, the daily search parameter is merely a hashtag, but we'll get into that in, in a moment. If you notice below this video, there is a list of today's commemorative events. If you highlight that list and place your mouse cursor over the highlighted portion, do right click, it gives you the opportunity to have it read back to you. If you do that, you'll be able to learn the correct pronunciation of all the family members' names, royal titles, and so forth that may be in whatever foreign language it is. Um, basically, that's all it is. We cover births, marriages, deaths, divorce, christenings, you know, the, the usual genealogy stuff. Um, most of my sources come from Wikipedia, uh, several books by various genealogical authors, uh, Marley Niles, uh, you know, no, uh, the descendants of George the Third, Elizabeth of Austria. And uh, James, particularly James the First of England, James the Sixth of Scotland. A few of those I have helped in small ways in, in researching certain items for certain people. Um, but anyway, that's enough about that. Uh, now about the daily search term. Uh, if you look in the lower left-hand corner, you will see my name in very small letters. This being Zoom, we do have the ability to change that, so I'm going to go up uh, and change it because the uh, daily search parameter is really nothing but a very formalized hashtag. It has a definite format. And that format is the number sign, you know, a little tic-tac-toe sign, my three initials, A, Q, H, and then a six-digit number that's composed of three sets of two-digit numbers. The first two are the month of the year, the second two are the day of the month, and the third two are the last two numbers of the year that you're searching for something for. And that's it. Now, I'm not actually showing you how to change it in Zoom. If you want to learn how to use Zoom, I've got a whole course over on my YouTube channel. It's free. You're welcome to learn it. If you got any questions, we'll, I'll get to that in a minute, too. Now, if you look in the lower left-hand corner, that's the search term. It's still very small. But if I mute my camera, your screen will go black, and it's going to give you today's search parameter in big white letters like that. And that's all there is to it. Like I said, hashtag number, sign, my three initials, and then O3 for month, 24 for today's day, and 24 for the year. And that's it. Now, about questions, I'm happy answer any question you want to throw at me. If I can't give you, find an answer for you and give you a correct one, I may make one up for you. No, I'm just joking. But uh, and I, I'll deal with you know, technology questions, genealogy questions, everything. There's only one type of question that I will not answer here on the YouTube channel, and that is any question concerning Google or Google products. If you're going to ask anything about Google or a specific Google product, 
please go over to the Google site and the Google Help Centers can help you or the Google Community Forms. Find the right form for the product if you've got the question about and post it over there. The reason I ask that is twofold. First, it keeps all the Google stuff together so that people that follow me don't have to look in two different places for where I might be answering Google questions. The second is that you're more likely to get a quicker answer over there. There are people over there, other product experts coming in day and night answering questions. Now, that doesn't mean you're going to get to talk to somebody live. Google does not offer live support for any of their free consumer products. You go into the help center, you type in your question, product expert comes along, we get a list of, oh, look, there's a question. I know they answered that. They answered. Now, if you post over there and then want to come back over here and leave me a link to the post you made over there and said, Andy, I had a Google question that's over on Google and give me the link to it, I'd be glad to go over there and answer it or look at whoever else provided an answer. I may have a little more information on it or whatever. You know, that's perfectly fine, but I just won't be answering questions here. And with that said, I think I've got everything that covers everything for today. I do these every morning. I like to get them out by 5 o'clock, so it's the top of your mailbox when you get up in the morning. So thank you for your support in the past, and we hope to see you in the future. Have a good day.